when I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. The atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. Be the first one to say on record that uh, P. Diddy belongs in jail. Uh, not just in jail, under the jail. Hey guys, welcome to Barina Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. Today we'll be examining what Jamal Bryant said as well as what TD Jakes said in regards to Casey and P. Diddy. P. Diddy has issued what I'm calling a fake apology. It's just a P PR stunt. But you'll be surprised what exactly Jamal Bryant said while TD Jakes is distancing himself as far as the East is from the West with P. Diddy. Without further ado, I present to you Jamal Bryant. Here we go. Uh, I feel like uh, a pastoral responsibility uh, to give uh, some uh, redress. On uh, Friday uh, afternoon, uh, CNN released uh, footage uh, that was uh, absolutely brutal of uh, Sean Puffy Combs uh, beating Cassie uh, brutally. And uh, while it has gone viral on its face, uh, I wanted to go a, uh, another route um, to address two things. One uh, is uh, the church's silence on domestic violence uh, is so critical and uh, of the blood that drips off the hands of many churches of women who were uh, the target of domestic violence and the church told them to stay uh, and, and did not offer any protection or any security or any covering. Uh, let me first uh, say uh, to those of you who have been uh, victims of domestic violence, uh, let me first apologize that the body of Christ has not been more forthright in covering you and protecting you uh, and being a beacon light of security uh, for you. Uh, secondly, uh, let me uh, say to you uh, that uh, we believe that God is a God of transformation. Uh, our responsibility is not just to cover the victims, uh, but to transform the abusers because what we don't want to talk about it is not just the victims of domestic violence who are in church, but the perpetuators of domestic violence go in the church. Uh, and they need to be transformed and held accountable and responsible. Uh, and so, no, as your pastor, I'm going to pray for them and call the police. Yeah, and let me uh, be the first one to say on record that uh, P. Diddy belongs in jail. Uh, not just in jail, under the jail. Uh, and any person who feels comfortable abusing our women, let me go a step further, and abusing our children uh, needs to be held accountable. So as you can see, Jamal Bryant, straightforward to the point with everything else that has uh, that has transpired and calling uh, uh, P. Diddy, he belongs in jail, not just jail, but under the jail. Like, okay, good job, Jamal Bryant. <laughs> good job, Jamal Bryant. But now start preaching the true gospel. Now, moving on to T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes also used his pulpit to bring awareness to this, uh, to what transpired between Casey and P. Diddy. Okay. But just remember that T.D. Jakes has attended numerous parties of P. Diddy, and T. D. Jakes uh, had P. Diddy as one of his business partners, okay? This is just a matter of public record. He addressed the situation without mentioning P. Diddy's name. I'm like, why not mentioning his name, okay? Why not mentioning his name? So uh, let's listen in to what he had to say on this issue. Here we go came in over uh, social media that I happened to just happened just to see as I was coming to church and a woman said to me would you please pray for women who are living in danger in their own house and there was something about the way she said it and I know she's watching right now uh, th there was something about the way she said it. It was a cry for help. And I realized something when I read what she said as a father and as a husband and as a son and a mama's boy at that. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. 
the atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. I, I, I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. As a man, I saw my, my daughters and it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that, that image a trigger for women who have been through that, who are currently going through that, who are in the middle of that, who feel trapped in situations where you are being physically and emotionally and verbally abused. And it is possible to feel trapped and have a key to the door and still feel trapped in a situation you can't get out of. And, and, it, and it has, domestic violence has no particular color, age, or face. It can be sitting beside you today. You can be churched, you can be unchurched, you can be educated, you can be rich, you can be poor. Let me tell you something before we pray. If, and it's not always the man. Let me tell you a couple of things before we pray both for the victims and the perpetrator. There's something you need to understand. If you got a rage you can't control. If you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue, where you're bipolar, and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you gotta get some help, dude. You gotta get some help. You gotta, you gotta come out of denial and get some help. Okay, so now you've seen T.D. Jakes, right, T telling uh, his congregation that if you're experiencing that, you need to get some help. you got to get some help. Okay, why is T.D. Jakes pretending, acting like he had never heard about these rumors as far as uh, P.D.D. is concerned? He heard about it. He didn't want to do anything about it. Why? Because he was enjoying those parties, right? And he was doing business with him. How do we know about all these things? Well, because he issued a statement, okay? And I'll share this statement with you guys to jog your memory, okay? Let's remind each other uh, what happened. Remember when these rumors were coming out, right? This is what T.D. Jakes put out. Okay, and it was on Facebook, as you can see here, uh, TD Jakes and PDD, okay, a picture together. And over here, as you can see, he says, uh, TD Jakes Ministries. I take pride in building meaningful relationships and partnerships to impact audiences beyond my direct reach. Thank you, Didi, for sharing your platform, which allows us to bring hope to millions around the world. Hashtag Kingdom Culture Revolt. Okay. So that was TD Jack uh, clapping back against people when these rumors were coming out and about standing shoulder to shoulder with PDD. Now that the video is out there, he cannot deny it. He's even come out himself with his fake apology. All of a sudden, T.D. Jakes wants to address uh, the situation. Couldn't even have the audacity to mention PDD's name or to mention Casey's name. Why? Why can't you not? Why can't you mention him? <laughs> Jamal Brown didn't miss words. He just mentioned like, okay, this guy belongs in jail, not just jail, but under jail. Uh, T.D. Jakes has done business with him and he's on record saying that he's friends with this guy, okay? And he does not regret doing business with him. Now this issue has come out. He's pretending like he's not talking about uh, P. Diddy. What happened? So this is unfortunate and it is very, very shameful that he is even using his pulpit to, to share this. And he, uh, he actually just uses his pulpit to defend himself, to say whatever else he wants to say. Okay, he was out there. He won't be silenced and everything. What, what, what are you saying now? What are you saying now? What are you saying now? And he went on to say that, oh, uh, like he just stumbled upon something on social media. And this woman was crying help. So you just stumbled upon social media. The woman that you don't know and you feel the need to bring it to church that this person was crying for help. After all these allegations that were in public domain against PDD, you didn't feel to say anything about it, to do anything about it. Now, this just one lady who sent something on social media, whether it was on Twitter, whatever the case may be, now all of a sudden, uh, T.D. Jakes wants to tackle this situation, wants to tackle this subject. 
he wants to tackle this subject. I mean, how do we know even that's what happened? For all we know, he just wanted to address that issue, but he had to use it like he's talking about somebody else, but he's not talking about PDD. Well, I'm very, are we surprised? I don't know. It's very disappointing. But anyway, what else do you expect from somebody like TD Jakes? But what to say you guys, okay? All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you leave me a comment. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.